Welcome to Crystal Maker 10. In this tutorial, we're going to make an oriented interface between two domains of the same crystal in different orientations. I'm going to start off with one side of the interface in its own window. And here we have a 111 plane of silicon. And I've created a block of material using Crystal Maker's selection tools. There are various ways of creating slabs of material in Crystal Maker. You can use lattice planes, you can use the selection tools. It's very easy to do. So we have a block of material here. And I want to create a domain with a second block of material in a different orientation. So to do that, I'm going to start off by opening up the structures list here on the left. And there we can see the thumbnail for the current structure, which is the silicon 111 slab. I'm going to add a second structure to the same document window. And my second structure corresponds to a 110 orientation of silicon. Here's my 110 plane. Now what I want to do now is I have these two domains as separate structures and they're seen side on and I can use the structures list to switch between them. I want to combine them in the same view. To do that I can just hold down the shift key and I have two structures superimposed. Now clearly this isn't quite what we want to show. We want to be able to manipulate the structures so that they are positioned correctly. Now the best way to do that is to lock one of the structures and move or rotate the other. To lock a structure you can right click and choose the lock command or the easiest way to do it actually is to move the mouse over the structure thumbnail title just slightly to the right so that the little padlock icon appears. Click the padlock and that structure is now locked. To move the other structure, we'll move down to the tool strip and we're going to choose the move command. And then I can click and drag and reposition one structure relative to the other. You can also rotate the unlocked structure relative to the locked structure. If we unlock both structures now, so we just click on the, pad, the padlock to unlock it, uh, now our rotations apply to both structures. We might want to lock the lower structure again, and then we can reposition the upper structure relative to the lower structure. So here is my domain boundary between a purple silicon 111 domain and a gray silicon 110 domain. 